In this video, we're going to Solvang, California to spend a nice afternoon checking out the small Dutch city before driving north to check out Rancho Guadalupe Dune State Preserve. Yeah, Saturday driving into Solvang, faster to bicycle. It's like spring. Very busy. So cute. I love these buildings. They are Dutch people from Denmark. Moved here in uh, 1911. And they built this little city. It's a nice little Dutch town in Central California. And uh, it's really popular for people to come up for a weekend from LA. Saturday and you can see it is absolutely packed here. All the restaurants have outdoor seating now for, uh, for COVID reasons. It's very busy for a Saturday in February, but it's, it's, it's a little windy, but it's a beautiful day. And there's a lot of wine tasting rooms here and a lot of restaurants and a lot of bakeries. And it's a fun little town. There's all sorts of attractions. You can take a horse-drawn carriage ride. You can rent the little four people pedal bicycles. There's all sorts of wine tasting tour buses that you can take here. And uh, maybe about 15 or 20 hotels in this town. It's a really fun place to come for a two or three day weekend. All right, brief history of Solvang. It was founded in 1911 by Danish immigrants that came from Iowa. They bought 9,000 acres from a local rancher. I forgot his name, but that's okay. And then in 1944, after World War II, they changed the town charter that all the buildings had to be, look like uh, Danish architecture. And as you can see, it's a really cute little town. The new town was positioned to Mission San Inez and the first things they did was build a Danish cultural center and a Danish church. They really wanted this to be their own little Danish town in the new frontier of California. And they have a lot of Danish bakery here, here and we're gonna go check them all out. And as you see, the restaurant inside you cannot eat, but you can eat outside on the streets and everybody's doing that. It is so busy and packed. And, but it's pretty and we are trying to find a Romanian bakery it called the bread shop I find it baby I find it this is the bread shop so cute bread store. It's a Romanian store in Solvang but we cannot go in because they want for lunch. I heard they have cosmic and bread <laughs> and a lot of goodies and we have to come back. Here, cannot even drive, you're stuck here. Just <laughs> do you want to eat? Eat from your car because you cannot make it to the parking lot. It's unbelievable. This. You can find a cool spot. This was it, baby. All right, we're here at the Dana V Wines, a little wine tasting room, and we're gonna have a glass of wine, right, babe? So that's us down there. That's Santa Maria. There's little beaches and that much further on. All these dots, that's Morro Bay. All of these dots, that's like the Big Sur area. Right? So all of these dots before we get to Monterey. So we have Morro Bay, we have Pismo Beach, and then we have the Big Sur Drive. And we would have to do all that in one day. 
United States Post Office in Solvang. And even the post office has that Dutch architecture. Yes. And there's this several windmills. The windmill. One of them. And again the bakery. And the bakery. And more bakeries. Every store in Solvang is the Christmas store. The prices are very high, but it's a very cute store. And it's open. Brewing Company on a Saturday. As you can see, it is packed and busy. Lots of outdoor seating though available. And they have one of the biggest windmills in Solvang here. You can see in the background there. All the tables are cool. Mm -hmm. You have to wait half an hour to get a table. So we skip this place and we're gonna go to the next one. Paula's Pancake House. When we first came in about, what, two hours ago, it was absolutely packed. And it still is. There still is a line to get seated. Okay. You can see it's really busy at the Olsen Bakery here. I think this is one of the more popular bakeries in town, but there are several. So if you find one bakery or one wine shop that's really busy, just go to one that isn't so busy. Oh, I'm recording you. Hi, babe. What do you got to say? Hi. I'm in front of the hotel, and now I want my picture taken in front of the hotel. After our time in Solvang, we decided to drive an hour north to Rancho Guadalupe Dunes Preserve to catch the sunset before heading to Santa Maria to spend the night at the Holiday Inn.
Thank you for watching. In our next adventure, we go to Pismo Beach and Morrow Bay. As always, please like and subscribe to our channel.